quite some time ago, I made a video to see which yeast makes a better boche. I used D47 in one side and 71B in the other. It's been about a year and a half since that video. Let's see which one is better. All right, like I just said, these have been aging for about a year and a half. This is April, 2020. At the current date of recording, we are in October of 2021. So we are roughly a year and a half old. Now, is that a ton of time? I mean, it's a lot of time, but it's not like an insane amount. So I'm gonna be taste testing these, trying to figure out which one is better. Now I'm doing this in a different way. I have here, I have uh, six cups. So I also have an amazing contraption, as you can see right here, there is my um, my super high-tech ability for you to see the bottom of cups like this. I'm going to write on the bottom of each cup what is there, and then I will start tasting. And essentially what we're doing here is I'm gonna taste them, and I'm gonna try and figure out which one is which. I'm gonna give some notes, you'll see which one I'm tasting because as I pick it up, it will show you, hey, this is, I'm tasting D47 at the moment, and I'll put it back down, those things. Ultimately, I'm gonna try and separate them out to see if I can match them. I'm sure I'll be able to match them because I'm assuming they'll have different characters, but maybe not. We're also gonna talk about which one's better. So, let me go ahead and start pouring and doing all of my things to get ready for this video. All right, so I've poured them both. Um, let me go ahead and mix them around a bunch. I would love to think I'm smart enough to know where I put everything, but I don't think I am. So I'm just gonna mix them around. As I'm doing this and distracting myself, I will tell you the recipe. Well, I don't actually remember the recipe off the top of my head. It's on the screen right now. So I used the same base recipe for this mead. And as I was making it, um, I just threw different yeast in and essentially came out of that primary or came out of that video, I believe thinking D47 was better. I don't know, I can fact check myself real fast. But essentially these meads were um, pretty easy to make. Now this has been quite some time. These are not oaks or anything. We used um, orange blossom honey, those both shades. So it's got that extra character, extra fruity character, which is kind of nice. And uh, that's nice, okay. I do not remember where is, what is what. You can see on the screen right now, this is each thing. I think you can see it. We'll find out if you can or not. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start tasting. I'm gonna start over in this corner. I hope that camera's working. If not, this is whichever one you can see. Is this one right here? Ooh, the Beauchade Orange Blossom, so nice. I still got some heat. Ooh, yeah, there's that kind of not carbony taste you get from a boche, but a little bit like a little, I mean burnt. That's what a boche is. My gosh, I love these because they remind me so much of whiskey. This is, uh, oh yeah, this is so much like whiskey. It's got a lot of burn though. Whichever one this is, still has a lot of tartness. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Probably need a palate cleanser. I got a little water. Mm, I don't know if it's just me getting used to this situation as it is, but this one does, this one right here is more, um, I mean, has more burn. This is much smoother. It's more round. It has like a, I don't know. It, what's funny is these could be the same. You can probably see right now. These could be the exact same and I could be making this up. Who knows? Not intentionally making it up. These are different. I don't know which is which. Ooh, that is, these two right here have the same profile. They're very smooth. The they're more, more buttery, meaning that they're more, um, we got more richness to it. This one seems to have more brightness. It has a little more acidity profile. These are more smooth. Okay, let's keep going. Hmm, hmm, this is a guessing game. because I think it's these two. I think I have these two right. 
I don't know which, I'm just matching them by the way, by taste. I'm not necessarily going by like, this is D47, this is 71B yet. All right, you can see the bottom of them. I could be totally wrong. But that's part of this is to see if there's any perceivable difference between these yeasts. And I feel like one of them, the ones that are on the front right here, are more, or towards me I should say, are more smooth, more buttery, they don't have as much brightness. The ones on the back have a little more brightness to them. So let's go ahead and check now and see if I was right. Here's my back row. D47. Well, already wrong. 71B. D47. Okay. Odd. I'll, I'll come back to that. So that means that these, I got one wrong here. 71B. So really my two... Interesting. So these right here then are... This is a D47, this is a 71B. Let's see what the real difference is. D47 right hand. I do think that D47 is a little more rounded, more smooth. The fruity notes that you get from the honey are not as, um, not as bright, they're more mellow. Interesting, okay. Switch over to the other one. Mm, I say that and then I taste that and it's like, they are very similar. This one has more like vanilla notes coming from it, more vanilla softness. Man, I have to say, if I was choosing between the two, the 71B version actually promotes a little more roundness. I thought this one was smoother, the D47, but I do think there's some soft vanilla notes. There are some more rounded edges coming from the 71B version than the D47. And I like both yeast. I mean, I use them quite a bit, but 71B just feels older. It's got less burn. Interesting. I, I myself think that this is very interesting because these yeast are comparable in lots of ways. Um, they have about the same alcohol tolerance. I think about the same nu nutritional needs. They have made a very similar product, but coming out on top is the 71B. Now, compared to my previous results when the, this video originally published, I'll put it right now, which one I said was my preferred. If it matches up, great. If it doesn't, then that shows that time matters. The good news is I have more bottles of these, so in a couple years, I could do this test again. I wanna update you with these things because I feel like it's important for you to see these meads age because some of you might have seen the original video and then you go, well, I never saw a final video wrap up of it. Well, this is not really a wrap up, but an update on it. I highly suggest you experiment with different yeast. D47 in this case did not work as well, in my opinion, as 71B. Does that mean that D47 is always not gonna work as well? No, in fact, I think D47 is better for some recipes than a 71B is. But in this case, it wins. So I hope you've enjoyed my silly contraption. Um, this has been a lot of fun and I, and I wanted to add an element to this that was like trying to match them up to test my skills, but to also see if there was a perceivable difference. And obviously there was a little bit of a funk thing happening. I was pretty close, but I was only four for six. Anyways, hit like, sub subscribe, make sure you support the channel in that way. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.